Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at how to reduce grain on the Canon Cinema range, specifically the C70 and R5C when you're shooting RAW. So when you're shooting RAW, you can't take advantage of some of the fun and tricks that these cameras provide, like the digital stabilization or the noise reduction or the sharpness. So you have to do those in post. Uh, but if you're having continually grainy footage and you want to fix it, there is a pretty fun workaround. And that is to reduce the dynamic range of the camera by manipulating the ISO. At ISO 800, which is the one of the base ISOs of the camera, the camera is giving you your maximum dynamic range. So it's taking the things that should be black and pulling them up into the visible spectrum, I guess. Um, and it's doing that by increasing the gain and noise on them. So if you don't want that, if you just want th black things to stay black, um, what you can do is reduce the ISO from 800 to 400. That will crush those bottom stops, that sub eight IRE into pure black, which is grain free. I've tested it by dropping it further to ISO 200. It doesn't really help. Yes, you will lose a little bit of your top end as well, uh, a little bit of your extra stops um, blowing out to white. But if you have a controlled environment, uh, meaning you're doing the one doing the lighting, this shouldn't be that hard. But what if you want to keep a sensitive 800 ISO? Well, with the addition of the dual ISOs on the R5C, what you can do is change the base ISO to 3200, but keep the camera ISO set to 800. This will have the same effect of keeping the exposure the same, but crushing those lower stops, that sub 10, sub eight IRE into black. So you should see a noticeable reduction in grain, even though your ISO is still 800. RAW is a really fun way to shoot because you have control over the white balance in post. Uh, you have maximum resolution. You can only get the 8K um, on the R5C and R5 when shooting RAW. So it's useful to know how to control that image so you need less processor intensive noise reduction in post. If you want more tips like this, check out canonmasterclass.com. I have a masterclass for the R5C launching any day now and masterclasses for the C70 and R5. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.